Hey y'all, thanks for stopping in. We're handheld, so uh, forgive me if it shakes a little bit. This is kind of an intro or a pre-intro and a clarification about what goes on a little later. Um, in my first freeze distillation, I fill this and then there's still some, you know, this is out of the first catch out of the, out of the distillation and then I catch some more and that'll there's also you know you'll see that in there also but I decided to run this through the freezer again so between all of the well between the two bottles that I froze and it took a while it took almost four it took the better part of 48 hours for that to freeze and it never got hard frozen it was just it was slushy slush so, anyway, after the two distilled down, I ended up with what you saw at the end of the end of the last video, which was this pint jar. Pretty sure it's a pint. Um, it's what it says on the box, anyway. I thought that was a pint, but uh, anyway, I ended up with this pint jar. And a little bit in a small water bottle, and uh, yeah, that little bit kind of disappeared. <laughs> it's it's a uh, it's tasty stuff, I'll tell you what. So anyway, yeah, uh, we'll get onto the video here in just a second. All right. Hey y'all, welcome back. Uh, we're starting this a little further into the process. I'm still drinking my coffee. Don't mind the mess over here. I have some dishes from late last night and whatnot. I'm doing a freeze distillation and uh, I think as you can see we're just about done. It started out as, I don't know, whatever size bottle that is. Grape juice. I fermented it, turned it into fermented grape juice. I don't really know if it was wine. It was. It tasted pretty good. It had a nice bite to it. And then I thought, well, why not? I stuck it in the freezer. Well, it doesn't really freeze freeze because it's got alcohol in it. And uh, then you distill it out. You know, everything that's left in there is water. So what's down here is supposed to be flavoring and uh, alcohol so I don't know but I'm going to stop it where I'm at here and put it in this bottle and then we'll see what's going on after that so I'll bring you all back after I got that done because I need to wash a I need to find a funnel first of all and then wash it and uh, I need more coffee uh, yeah all right, in a little bit. All right, we're back. I got, I don't know what size is this. Whatever size this bottle is. Um, this was actually one of the bottles out of our haunted house. Uh, I just decided to use it. So, it's it's full. I'll t I I tried a little bit of this. I mean, just a little bit. Like I said, I'm still drinking my coffee, but it packs a wallet. It's uh it's up there with uh, up there with a brandy. It's pre it's really pretty. T it's really tasty. I've uh, I'm also I'm also leaving this up here because there's still some color. So I'll let that drip through till it's you know pretty much no color and it won't be anywhere near as it won't have anywhere near the alcohol in it but I can always refreeze it which uh, might be an idea after that drips through I'll refreeze whatever's left and then try it again so uh, yeah that's uh, that's pretty cool it's got a pretty color to it too Hey, thank you all for uh, taking time out of your busy schedule and
stopping in to see what kind of craziness I'm up to. This has been a fun project. I've got a couple of other projects similar to it going on. Um, I did an orange juice from fresh oranges. It's not working out at this point. I don't know. And I've got a couple of Apple Jacks going. Oh, oh, excuse me. I got another bottle just like this going. Um, so, yeah, we'll see. Uh, this didn't take quite as long as I thought it was going to. So we're going to put it on the same video. This uh, is about what's left. There's really not a whole lot in there. This says it's right at 500 milliliters. So these water bottles supposedly hold 1.9 ounces. All right, they hold 16.9 fluid ounces. 1. Point point 1.0.9 fluid ounces or 500 milliliters. So, now, still a little bit of water in there. I really don't want any water because that's just going to make it make it worse later, but um, anyway, we're going to pour this in here and then I'm going to run this through second freeze just to see what happens because it's easy and it would seem like one of these bottles lies because either that's not 500 mil there Which seems more realistic. Or there's way more than 500 milliliters in that in that bottle of water. Which, you know, if they're selling it, they don't want to make it. They don't want to give you any more than they have to. So I'm going to pop that back in the freezer. I'm going to wash that. I'm going to let this one finish thawing out. And then see what it tastes like. Um, the wine itself tastes pretty good. It was it was a little drier than what I like, but considering I mean considering it's a bottle of grape juice and bread yeast, it was pretty good, and it you know kind of gave you a little hint that it was wine. But um, so then I reduced it down, like you see before, and that is potent. Uh, that that's just a little bit of that got my got my forehead a little sweaty so we'll try this one and see what happens here and uh, if I get you know half of this is water well then whatever is left in that should uh, be rather potent Alrighty, so this is what I ended up with. A pint and some out of a, uh, let me see here. Sorry, I'm, I'm handheld at the moment. Oh, a bottle that size. What is that? Out of two quarts. Of basically grape juice I ended up with a pint and it's still cold just been just been uh, this is my second second freeze I ended up with a pint and a little bit plus uh, Plus a shot. Let me tell you what. Yeah, it's tasty. It is, it is. I'm not going to worry about finding the bottle for that. I'll tell you that much. So, uh, oh, that's good. 
that is well worth the two dollars that I spent and I guess it's been it's been about 15 days maybe a little longer to come up with this whoo wee yeah man so uh, I don't know if I said goodbye in, in the last one or not uh, this is going to be the update, so, yeah, wowzer, hey, uh, thank you all for stopping by, I really appreciate taking time out of your schedule, if you would push that like button down below, I'll have links to, uh, where I made, you know, when I first started making the wine, or the fermented juice, and then how I strained it, and, you know, whatever, so, uh, that'll be down there in the, down below in the description or over there in the description or wherever it is on whatever it is you're watching this on. So, uh, yeah, thank you all. And uh, until next time, bye.